Hi there again everyone, Josie here from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel. Today I have another Dollar Tree DIY here for you. Um, on my previous uh, or most recent Dollar Tree DIY that I made, and I'm going to be inserting a video or a photo of that one here. It's a universal charging station that you can use not only for your cell phones but for other mobile or handheld devices. And on one of the comments requested me creating a tutorial, an organizer or caddy for remote controls. Okay, and hopefully I could also include their uh, storage for batteries. Dollar Tree sells these boxes, got three of them actually, currently. And oftentimes they do sell them in different styles and designs, okay? And the good thing about them is that they are really hard. You know, it's not, they're not flimsy. So th this particular design, which is in gingham style or blue, will work well in our family room. All year long they sell this and it depends on the season. They will come out with different styles or designs that would work well for the season. So well, I think this one would be good all throughout the year. And if you want to cover this with contact paper, scrapbook paper, pads, or even your remnant papers, you can do that. Can you spray paint this? Yes, you can. But for me, I'm just going to use this here. I'm just giving you suggestions on what you can do. Uh, since this comes with the Brilla ribbon, we're going to choose this to keep this on top. And then just remove this other two. Now the reason why I'm removing this top is because I would want to also kind of coordinate it and give it a little bit height here and then this one would be glued to the top here. I'll be using glue, hot glue gun because they're made of cardboard. I don't think I would need to use E6000 but if you need to use E6000 you can go ahead and do so. So again this is a quick DIY. I'm just going to hot glue the bottom. Okay, and then insert it here. Just spread it, press it in the center. Okay. Right, and then do the same thing here. I'm going to be gluing this side here so that I can stick them together next to each other. this okay now let that dry now of course you wouldn't want to put glue here because there's a gap that was created by those two covers okay now I'm just gonna look at which side I want to be the front let's make sure there even okay yeah I think I'm gonna be using this as the front and then this is the back and this is where I'm gonna be gluing it and the reason why I'm doing it a little elevated it all depends on how high you want it to be but I think I'm gonna be gluing it kind of like this maybe three-fourths high the reason for it is because in order to have the clearance for the top yeah so Instead of putting the glue here, I'm going to put the glue here and then probably readjust this one based on the glue portion or the glue, the glue placement. The thing about glue is it um, dries fast. Now, if you want to reinforce the bottom, so it doesn't, uh, so it's more secure. You can do that because it won't be seen anyway. As a matter of fact, I'll probably do that right now. I'm just going to put some glue in the crevice just to give it a little bit more reinforcement there. And then press it some more. What I'm doing here is this one. I'm going to be using this as the bottom and then just put glue here in the middle. Don't even have to be too perfect on it because um, 
it's not going to be seen for the most part. It's just going to be at the back. But yeah, be as generous as you can on it. So this is how it looks like. So this is the open space that I used as the bottom here. The mouth is the bottom because it's wider. It will carry the weight more evenly. And then just place it in the middle. So you just need one. Now this is not just for remote controls. As you know, a lot of the organizers are very versatile, my DIY organizers. So you can use this as well for your makeup brushes, probably to organize your lipsticks and carry the makeup palettes. Um, you can also use this to store some of your crafting items or your probably your uh, paint brushes as well as your as well as uh, your your colored pens. Yeah, that's it. See it? See it? How it looks like now? Now you can put the remote control. Look at this, because this is wide enough to hold this game controller for the xbox and this is the controller for the tv so this one of course is still open up and i have some batteries here this is optional i just prefer to use it because again i'd rather store this in a more fire safe place meaning um as avoiding as much contact with paper but i think it should be okay to be inside the the box itself because the box is not like made of loose paper but again like an extra precaution I'm using this and this is the interlocking cube or plastic organizer that you can find at the kitchen aisle of the Dollar Tree they also come in an elongated form for two for a dollar but this is three for a dollar and it fits perfectly inside and voila I can still cover it because again batteries should be covered like that thanks again everybody for joining me here in my channel and i hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial it only cost me less than five dollars to make i hope you make one for yourself again you can use this not only for remote controls and batteries but you can also use this for other things in your house if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, click the thumbs up, and share it with your friends. And if you're a returning subscriber, I'd like to thank you for joining me here again on my channel, and for always supporting my channel. Have a great day everyone, talk to you on my next video, bye bye!